Hello everybody, and welcome back to another LEGO review. This is one of those uh, $40 sets, I believe, and this is, of course, dedicated to the Minecraft rabbits, and there's a whole rabbit build right here, but it does come with a couple other minifigs, like this brand new player minifigure, and, of course, a good old zombie. So, let's just dive right in and take a look at this build overall. In this build, the first thing that will stand out, of course, is the rabbit build. We have some other builds before that's animal based, of course, such as like the pig house. We had the chicken coop, the chicken coop farm. My Lego is getting, getting a little bit repetitive with doing these animal based builds, but hey, I respect it. It's actually something out of the ordinary and that's what Minecraft is all about, creativity. So I think it's fine, even though it does get repetitive from time to time. Now, I don't think this is detachable, but behind the rabbit there is stuff in there. There is one crafting table and one table with a torch on it. As for the front of the rabbits, you can see there is the face. There is the pink bricks being used for the ears. So we got some good creative. We got some good piece usage going on here. And then as well as we got some of the the we got a nose pink nose. That's, and then we got the gray for the eyebrows, so that's some contrasting colors as well. And in front of the build is a little pen to hold these very huge rabbits. We will get into them a little bit shortly after. Uh, this is a pen to hold the rabbits, and of course you can buy, I think you can put at least three or four in there. But the set does only give you two. As for the rest of the terrain, there is this little um, sunflower bush. Because I guess it's just located in a plains biome. So sunflowers would spawn. And then at the back, we have this little farm with carrots growing out. And we have just a little bush here with uh, another rabbit sitting there. This one's a baby rabbit. We'll look at him momentarily. Um, but yeah, we got a little carrot bed. And we also have some a flower, some flowers in the back. And then finally on this side, we ended off with this little cave-like terrain with a lapis ore there. And of course there is, it's not a Lego Minecraft set without a TNT exploding collapse play feature. So as you can see, there is a lever right here with a TNT block underneath. So you can kind of picture what's going to happen. I push this and it launches this into the air, this piece of terrain. I think this build is very nice. Like I said, even though it's animal base and we've seen so many of those at least they do try their best to make each design look unique and i do think they've done that very, very they've done it very well um even considering a, the minecraft set it can be a little bit simple sometimes and it is simple don't get me wrong but there's still enough on it so there's that. Okay, so we're gonna actually change up the orders this time. So usually we look at the minifigures right after, but not this time. We're gonna look at the box first. So let's look, take a look at the box. So here it is. Um, could I zoom out more? Yes, I can. All right, so it's the Rabbit Ranch set 21181. This is a $40 set, but remember this is a license theme, so you bet it's gonna get a little bit more pricey. So. 340 pieces are in the set and we do have an artwork of a rabbit right here and here is the top with the minifigures and this minifigure this player minifigure here is called the tamer and all the other words you see below are just in different languages so there's that and then here is the other side of z box and uh yeah i show you the tnt play feature and oh yes i should also mention they had this uh play feature we could remove the roof of the rabbit and there's also one where you can kind of kind of spin the bunny around and let me just show you quickly it's right here you kind of launch the bunny in the air to pretend he's jumping so yeah there's that so that is the that is the uh, that is the box okay i think it's better if i just show you clearly because i did remove the bunny but that jumping play feature is very very good because Obviously, it doesn't launch the rabbit, as you can see. But what it does is, as you would expect, it captures what a rabbit does IRL and in-game. They hop. So, you push that around, and you have the bunny hopping around. See, that's a very simple 
but it's a very, very unique play feature. And I, I, I actually missed that when I went over the set by accident. And then of course, to remove the roof, there it is. So, okay, so that aside, now we can look at the minifigures. So of course, I do want to start off with the bunnies here. So here is the baby rabbit. And my God, does he look adorable. Look at him. Super tiny, he's got the little little stud to hold him around, and that's really the only piece. This whole head neck piece, that is the entire rabbit. And it's held by three other pieces, so that's it. That is the entire build. But I still think it's what's the simplicity of this that makes this very well. I think that's a very creative design for a baby bunny. And of course, you can technically make this still a, a, an adult brown bunny, but you're just gonna have to use your own pieces. But still, this looks very, very nice. All right, and here is the adult bunny and what is probably my favorite type of bu uh, bunny in the game. This is my favorite breed, the black and white one. And because just because it's, it, it's more darker color, you know, it makes the rabbit looks a lot cooler. And it's very similar because he's contrasting with just white eyes and a pink nose. That's pretty much it. And he looks very nice just simply because he's mostly comprised of black and this is an adult fully grown adult bunny hence why the piece count is slightly bigger and then we have just an everyday zombie you know we've seen this since the beginning of lego minecraft so you've seen it once you've seen them all there's nothing new for this one it's the same oh zombie just with an iron sword this time and here is that trimmer figure he's got a iron pickaxe and yeah, very. I'm glad uh, Lego's actually adding these more unique player characters instead of the usual Steve and Alex. You know, it actually just gives a little bit of relief. You know, it's, it's just we've seen Steve and Alex so many times. It's not even like it's not even it's not special at all anymore. These guys are really what makes it a little bit more special on the other hand. So that's why I think they've done a pretty good job of this. So the trimmer here does look very nice. The hair really stands out here. I do like the color that they've gone with for the hair here, so. All right, and that is it for this set. This is the Rabbit Ranch, and I give it a eight out of 10. I think they've done a pretty good job of this one. Uh, the minifigure selection could be a little bit better. I think maybe include a little bit more bunnies, that this is a set dedicated towards bunnies. But other than that, I've got nothing much else to say other than it's a pretty solid set. So that's it for this LEGO review. If you've enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and of course subscribe, do all that. But this is another LEGO review. I am Mark45 and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>